Hey everyone, it's Kong again with another quick little free Kong update. I say quick. The video is probably not going to end up being quick, but in terms of my commentary, it's fairly simple. I'm just uh, finally playing Free Kong against some Ancient Beckoning bosses, and this time it's going to be Fenrir. Obviously I have extremely limited options, um, only being able to use free units, so I can't use any of the really meta characters. So for example, no Juggler in this fight, no Bozel, no Arian Rod, no Ultimuler. Which are kind of considered to be like the staples of the fight, like Juggler's really your main healer in this fight in uh, normal approaches to it. So as you can see, I've brought uh, normal Jessica, I've got Ainz, I do have Varna, who's a really good pick for this fight. I have Sophia, who's largely going to be my main healer. She can cycle between her mass heal and her 3C quite nicely. I have Almeida as well, in case I need more healing, which I thought I might need, given having no juggler, but ultimately I think Almeida ends up not really contributing as much as I thought. So I probably could have built her as a DPS and did a bit more damage with her. I'll know that for next time. And I've also got Sonya as my other DPS, and really I was kind of running out of characters who were on faction, so I think Farakia is another option that I have available to me. Uh, but Sonya is able to bring Hellhounds, so she is a good source of a debuff there, and some extra damage for the team. So you can see I'm going to be attempting to run... Um, a fairly easy double AoE cycle with Varna and Heinz. Uh, but part of the problem with Free Kong is not having, or at least this run, because I also wasn't super well geared up. One of the problems is I'm not able to activate the runes every turn. So in about another turn, or once I'm done this intro explanation, I'm going to speed through the rest of my turns until the run starts falling apart at the end, and then I'll come back and kind of look back on it. Uh, I definitely don't need to talk through an entire 40-minute Free Kong Ancient Beckoning video. But you will see I fail to activate the runes uh, every once in a while, and there's a few negatives to that. It means that Varna will lose her uh, double AoE stacks, so she's definitely not doing quite as much damage as she could be doing. And it also means that Ainz isn't really doing as much as he could be doing either. Uh, most of the time he's either just standing there doing single target attacks or getting like one big AoE off. So if I want to approach this again, I'll need to uh, really look at the gear that I can use to help provide me with extra unique debuffs or the skill loadouts that I bring on some of these characters. For a quick free run though, it I'm pretty satisfied with it, and I'm very impressed with Sophia's performance as my main healer. Uh, eventually I'll shift positions here a little bit, get Sophia in the middle of my team so that she can just constantly keep healing up on everyone. And yeah, I think for the next run I'll have to focus on more consistent debuffs, and also I'll convert Almeida to a full DPS uh, outfit. She doesn't need... she doesn't need to heal for me. Sophia has it taken care of, at least up to S rank. If I wanted to try leaderboarding with this, which is kind of a silly idea anyway, the point of Free Kong is really just as a proof of concept to show that this PvE content can be done with literally any heroes. So these are all free, they've all been given to us through story or events or whatnot. Literally haven't summoned anyone and got an S rank on this Ancient Beckoning fight. So that's on Lushiris Gate, that's enough for top 100 anyway. So there's not really too much incentive to go hardcore leaderboarding and try to really tweak and improve my score. Really, my reason for saying that it's possible is to excuse some poor decisions that I made here. And actually, if anything, that should be encouraging. The fact that I can come in with this team and play in a suboptimal way and still be able to squeeze out an S rank 
Uh, now Free Kong is getting sweet rewards um, as part of this whenever Fenrir's rewards cash in on the Ancient Beckoning cycle. So, for the Ancient Beckoning bosses that I do have appropriate characters for, I will start trying to tune my teams and post more of these videos so that you can see basically what my approach is to these super bosses like the endgame PvE stuff with trash characters. Anyway, let's uh, just let the rest of this play out in a slightly accelerated fashion. Now that you've got a, a feel for my cycle, or the janky cycle that it is, basically it's more or less just Sonya attacking with whatever skill she has up uh, to get the Hellhounds debuff, Sophia healing the entire team, Jessica either attacking or using something like uh, Meteor to try to get a couple more debuffs on if I need to. Almeida does have her 3C skill Roast, which gives everyone the ability to use debuffs after their action, which is fine, um, but her pool of unique debuffs on that skill isn't big enough to be able to guarantee hitting the debuff threshold to activate the runes every turn. So getting stuff like Attack and Int down, that's stuff that you can cover elsewhere. I'm really going to need to kind of go back and look for more uh, unique debuffs that I can use to increase my total amount. And then Varna's just doing her AoE thing, trying to get as many double-stacked AoEs off as possible. And like I said, Ayn's kind of waiting for his opportunity to grab the rune whenever he can, but most of the time just attacking or using Dark Reaper.
まり使いたくないですね指示は油断召されるないいですね。ここここ。いくよ。次はどうする。了解です。次はどうする。了解です。何かお手伝いできることありますか。よろしくお願いしますね。ご指示は。So as you can see, lots of room for improvement there, like I mentioned in the intro. Uh, but still a fun run, and pretty fun to play with these kind of janky, off-meta characters. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that that was enough to get an S rank, for Lu Shirus Gate, that's enough to get me into the top 100, which also means I'm going to be getting much better Ancient Beckoning rewards, which can help me build other characters for some of the other Ancient Beckoning fights, so stay tuned for those in the future. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy Langrissing, everyone.